I believe we can see the. I believe we can see what we have here. Can we see that? Yes, sir. Blank. Yes. That means all of us can see clearly. Yes, sir. Now let's um go to the material. Sir, Miss Emilia is not here. No problem. I called her. I called her. She didn't pick. Maybe she's still sleeping, but I dropped the message. Okay. So we want to do. <clears throat> a moment. You will do the application of determinants this morning. All right. Thank you, sir. So let's start from the basics. So let's take this question. So we have A. <clears throat> I believe we can see it clearly now. Yes. Good. We have uh, yes. we have four, we have one, we have three. And we have B. We have five, we have three, we have one, we have one. All right, so now let's see. Now we have to find the determinant of, to find the determinant of this question. All right, find. the determinants. This is um this is the basics. And I believe um from yesterday's video we we'll have seen this already. So to find the determinant, what we do very simple. Now we then take there's a rule we are going to observe. There's a rule to observe. Just a moment. Now, at this stage, we are talking about determinants. Something we need to do. Now, I want you to pay attention to, let me draw my arrows. I want you to pay attention to this. And I want you to pay attention to this. Can we see my screen? Can yes, we see sir. everything? Yes, good. Sir. Yes, sir. good, good, good. So now, from what we have here, just a moment. Now, from what we have here, we can take our bearing by saying two multiply by three close bracket 
All right. Minus minus one my sorry just didn't say that. minus one multiply by by four by four just a moment by four okay and we have here as well five multiply five multiply by one five multiply by one close bracket minus one multiply by three now simple explanation to what i've just done here is not more than extracting the element of the matrix a all right and extracting the element of matrix b okay and this is two multiplied by three from the first element of matrix a and the second thing we have here one multiplied by four you see this thing we have here now this sign is coming here because we are moving forward now we are moving up now as you can see that the sign two multiplied by three is negative because we are coming from above and we are taking it uh, diagonally then it's coming this way which is two multiplied by three it has no negative sign right but if we are taking it back up like what we have one multiplied by four then it comes with a negative sign are we together are we together yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, please we didn't get i didn't get to sir i also okay, didn't get to sir who asked that question let me see sir, who asked me to miss fave rachel sir is it me? Okay, you don't ask me to go back. Yes, sir. Okay. That's fine. Now, are we together? Yes, sir. sir. Good. Now, just like what I said earlier on, I said the element in A is what we have down here. 2 multiplied by 3 minus 1 multiplied by 4. And the element in B is what we have down here, which is five multiplied by one minus one multiplied by three. All right. So we have to bring down signs. All right. Signs from the first element. This negative sign is here because when we are going back up, now when we are coming down, which is two multiplied by three, there are no negatives because it's positive. All right. That's one of the rule guiding determinants. But when we are taking it back up, which is one multiplied by four, then it comes with a negative sign. And that's why we're having this minus here. All right. And the same thing applicable to elements in matrices B. Right? It just will be repeated. This is the basics of um, determinants. And this is just like this because we are just two by two uh, matrices. All right. When we are doing something deeper, will get to understand better. So are we good to go? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good, good, good. So now, just a moment, I'm trying to get my questions correctly. So from here now, can from those of us that watch the video from here now, let's let's quickly give me the final answer from here. I think for me now it's easy to solve and get the final answer, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah please. You want yes, yes. And B equals two. What? A equals two and B equals two. Good. 
Do we all agree to that? Mr. Raphael, Ms. Ben, Ms. Fivo, do we all agree to that? Uh, yes. Yes, sir. Okay. We are all in agreement that. Yes, sir. Good, good, good. So now um, we have, this is a two multiplied by three gives us six minus four. And we have five minus three. So we have two and we have two as well. So that is that on that. I, this is just the determinant for two by two, all right, matrices. Now let's go through something a little bit deeper, something a little bit um, a little bit deeper.